So we're now in part two of our tutorial, and this will teach you how to get a bit better organized with your emails. Now, this is going to cover some of the incoming issues. For example, in my inbox, you can only see two, but if I go all the way down the bottom here, because I've clicked on an email earlier, and it's disappeared into the wilderness of... Where are you? It's not the junk. Right down the bottom here somewhere. It should be an all button, all mail. As you can see here, there's one called teacher. So imagine this is just an example. You're doing a training course. You want to correspond with your lecturer. You want to keep all those emails separate. It's still marked as important, as you can see here. So I could have found it by going to the important over here. Yeah, it'll still flag up. There we go. Uh, there we go. We've got student there. Uh, teacher. So it's still flagged as important. But imagine you want to keep all your correspondence with your lecturer. Uh, for not just now, but in the future. But also you want it automatically to do it for you. You don't want to have to keep pushing it into a folder every time it comes in. So what you can do is click on the email. And what we want to do here, if it will show... So filters messages like this. So this is imagine this is my lecturer's email. It is actually my email, but um, this will filter that email. This will say, right, if this email comes from this person, what do we want to do with it? So it could go to different people because within Gmail you can organize it. So it's to John, whoever. Um, so the, the the emails have a different reaction if it goes to. Uh, Ken, Ken deals with his unsubscribing from our newsletter, etc. Then you just want to send it to them, so you could actually set it to forward and things like that. So it depends who you send it to. Subject line newsletters again, just as an example. Subscribe or unsubscribe. You could have different actions. So if it's unsubscribe, it goes to one one folder. If it's to subscribe, it goes to another, so that you could actually do your subscriptions in bulk. Um, includes these words. Maybe you're doing a specific um, project and you're looking for key words that, and you can actually have it filtered if it's got those words. Could be a drawing number or something simple like that. You know, if you're doing um, CAD drawings, you could tell people always put the CAD drawing number and it could filter on that information and put those in specific folders. Doesn't have it, obviously the opposite has an attachment don't include chats well we want to include chats because if I'm talking with a lecturer I want the stuff going backwards and forwards so we set that up and at the moment anything that our lecturer sends I want to put in this new folder so we go on to create with um, more options so you could actually say, don't send it to the inbox, just archive it. So it basically just moves it through. You don't see the email. You get it out of the folder as and when you want it. Mark is read, so it says you've already read it. Uh, you could star it, so maybe you want to have it marked as something you need to deal with. Um, and this one, apply the label, is you can create a new label, like here, and then you just put label name and then just create, but I did actually create one here already. College course from lecturer. So then you can forward it. So say it comes in, you want to forward it to somebody else. Maybe it's uh, invoices that come in. And although you're dealing with the client, you don't deal with the accounts. So you want to automatically send it to the people that deal with accounts. Uh, delete it, because maybe you just don't want it or maybe forward it and delete it so it goes to accounts and delete it as it comes in never send it to spam so maybe it's a invoice but the company's notoriously bad for spam email so it often won't arrive but you could flag it and say look this is always good just let it come through you know the email's fine uh, always mark is important maybe invoicing or payments you want to make sure that you get those emails um, never mark is important. Maybe it's something that's just something you're interested in but not really bothered if you read it or not. 
And then you can even drop it into categories. You can drop it into the, is it personal email, social, promotions, etc. Uh, create a filter. Also apply filter to formatting conversations. So it's already found for existing conversation. And we say, yes, we want to create that filter. So now we should be in, if we go down here, college courses from lecturer. If we go to this new little folder, it should load. You can see all those emails are in there re relating to stuff that's been received from that email. But it can be a bit more advanced than that because if we go to our inbox, we've got students. Students are on the course with us. Stuff that we do actually want to communicate with back and forwards, like say, oh, we've got to meet up next Friday, you know, those sort of things. So we'll go, okay, we want to talk to the students, but we don't want the students going in the same folder as our training stuff. But we do want it in the same um, folder as such, but not, well, a subfolder. So what we do, we, we go through the same process. We go filter messages like this, um, the emails, because you can obviously add more than one email on the top there. The same as last time, two subject includes, doesn't have. And then we go create filter with this search. Same again, but this time we apply the label and we're gonna have a new label and we'll call it student emails. But we want it under our college course. So we'll create that. So it's just created it. So if we go over to the left hand side now. We've got college courses here, and you'll see there's a little arrow to the left. We've got the student emails that fall underneath it. And it didn't add the emails. Um, Let's go back to the inbox. It didn't have the emails for some reason, so let's just quickly do that again. I had to make contacts first. Maybe that's why I didn't do it. Filter messages like this. That's all the same. Create filter. Apply. Choose label. College courses from lecturer students. Also apply. Ah, I didn't click the create filter at the bottom. Also apply for the existing ones. So now we have that. That's in that folder. So we go back down the left hand side here. So we've got our college courses from lecturer. So our top, top folder, which has the lecturer's emails. Then under that, we have the student emails. Very useful for getting organized because you can get it to drop it into individual folders as stuff comes in to keep everything organized. Because if you're doing different projects, if you're doing uh, private emails as well as business emails, etc., you can filter everything as it comes in and then you can prioritize what you want to actually read.